to the Twin Sister Showgirls, and today I'm going to teach you how to make cookie dough. The number one thing you'll first of all want to do when you ever bake or cook is wash your hands so you do not spread germs. Let's go. And all done. Okay, we're all done washing our hands, now it's time to get this cookie dough on the baking. Okay, now the second step you'll need is opening your cookie dough. Ask the parent permission if you want to cook this, cook this cookie dough or if you need help to open it. Okay, I need help opening this, so I'm just going to ask a little bit for help. This is hard. Okay, there we go. That was pretty tough getting all the wrapper off of this cookie dough. But now it's time I get by kneading this cookie dough with my hand. So you're going to break it apart and then you can just start by kneading it. You can add cool things to it like sugar, like sprinkles. But I guarantee you should do it after you're done. It has lots and lots of of chocolate chips inside it, but it will take lots of hard work to knead it, so it'll take me quite a while. Okay, so this one is actually well kneaded. We'll put this one in the side, and then when I got all these three kneaded, I'm going to start by mixing them together. Okay, so I got all of this cookie dough finally mixed together. It took me a really long time. And it's getting a little bit sticky, but if, if, you, if you feel like this is a little bit too melty, too soft, too smooth, you should actually probably put it in the fridge or the freezer so it can get a little bit harder. And that's what I would love to do, but you have to be checking it once in a while because you really do not want it to be too hard even when you put it in the oven. So now the next thing you're going to do is preheat your oven to 350. Oh wait, let me get my hands washed and then get this ready. Ask a parent or an older sibling, an, or an older sibling to preheat the oven for you. Me, I'm asking my mom. Instead, I'll be asking my sister. Okay, my dough is all hard enough. Now I'm gonna get it into little shapes, and I like to start by getting it into a circle, just rolling it in my hands to a circle, and then you, I guarantee you should use a spoon like me to kind of shape it together. Me, I'm just going to do one. I'm going to have help from my sister to help me do rest of the rest of the cookie dough. So I'm going to get the cookie dough and then flatten it up. And then when it's all getting flattened up, I'll get the spoon. And then I'll kind of shape it just like this. Oh, I found something. Oh, it looks like I found a piece of paper. Okay. Now my cookie dudes are all shaped, all ready. Thank you for the help of the spoon. And uh, don't worry about how it looks because it's gonna go in the oven, it's gonna grow, and it's gonna shape it. Last time I made cookie dough, it kind of melted, so I hope it turns out good this time. Now we're gonna start by putting it in the pan. Now my cookies are all shaped and all ready to in the pan. Now make sure if you're now make sure your oven is all preheated to 350. When it's done, you'll understand. Okay, now I think it's time we put them in. Now ask a, now ask a parent or a sibling to help you put it in the oven. There we go. All in the oven, and now it's gonna get shut. all cooked. Now in this cooking dough you gotta bake it to 11 to 
15. You guessed it. 11 to 15 minutes. Okay, it looks like it has rain and it says and now I'm going to say stop time. Wait. Oh, timer. Oh, yeah. There we go. 5.37. Now I'm going to take this off. Okay, now I'm going to start by opening this. Wow, this looks so good. Oh, it feels just a little bit hot even with touching this. All done. Now, if your cookies turn out all sloppy and move on together, this happens a bunch of times for us. Well, luckily we got good fixes. You can just cut them. Even if it's hot, just try and do it with one hand. Now, you're going to put it in the fridge so it's not so soft, but it's a little bit hardened. Now there you go, you got a beautiful cookie. 